Hi all. Welcome to .NET Application Deployment, on the Kubernetes cluster with Istio Service Mesh Demo. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the deployment of .NET applications, on the on-prem Kubernetes cluster using Istio Service Mesh. The complete process is orchestrated, through the Jenkins pipeline. The tools, which are used in this .NET application deployment are GitLab, for source code management Jenkins, for continuous integration MS Build, for build the .NET file SonarCube, for code quality checks JFrog, for artifactory management and Docker image registry Kubernetes, for container orchestration Istio, for the service networking layer Docker, for containerization Let's explore the workflow of .NET application deployment, stage by stage. In the first stage, Jenkins job will pull the .NET application source code from GitLab. A webhook is configured on GitLab, so that, the ongoing deployment job will trigger automatically, when a commit happens on a particular branch. In the next stage, the .NET application source code will be built, using the MS Build plugin, on Jenkins Windows Slave. In case, any failures in the build step, pipeline will be aborted. The deployment package will be archived on Jenkins for future use. In this next stage, Jenkins uses the Sonar Cube Scanner plugin, for continuous inspection of code quality, to perform automatic reviews with static analysis of code to detect bugs, code smells, and security vulnerabilities. Sonar Cube offers reports on duplicated code, coding standards, unit tests, code coverage, code complexity, comments, bugs, and security vulnerabilities. When the code doesn't meet the quality standards, an alert mail will be triggered to the development team, and the pipeline will be aborted. Once the code meets the quality standard, the archive.net application package will be pushed to the JFrog Artifactory repository. The Docker image will be built, using the Docker file, and pushed to the JFrog container registry. In the final stage, Jenkins will deploy the application using the Istio service mesh, which will perform the below tasks. Create a deployment on the on-prem Kubernetes cluster, which will create a replica set, which in turn create the pods using images, from the JFrog container registry. The .NET deployment will be exposed to the external world, using the Istio gateway and virtual service. The routing rule will be defined in Istio, so that, when the Istio Gateway URL is accessed with the application name in the request, it will be routed to the .NET application pod, using Layer 7 load balancing. Now, let us see, how the continuous integration, and continuous deployment of the .NET application happen, via the Jenkins pipeline. Let us trigger the Jenkins pipeline, for .NET application deployment. In the first stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is preparing the repo, and git config. In the next stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is pulling the source code from GitLab, which contains the .NET application source code, Docker file, and Kubernetes Istio service mesh. In the next stage, the Jenkins pipeline job will build the .NET source code in Jenkins Windows Slave, based on the target operating system. In the next stage, Sonar Cube analysis is getting executed, and it is validated against the quality gate. As the quality gate is passed, the Jenkins pipeline is pushing the built binary package to JFrog Artifactory, then the Docker image will be built using Docker file, and pushed to the JFrog container registry. In the final stage of deployment, the Jenkins pipeline job will deploy the container, and expose the application via the Istio gateway URL, using the Istio route rule from Git. Now, the deployment has been completed. Let us check the Istio gateway URL, with the application name, for accessing the application. We can access this Istio Gateway URL in the browser, and this is the .NET application, that was deployed on the on-prem Kubernetes cluster. Let us see, the continuous integration, and continuous deployment in action. As a developer, let me make a visible change in the source code, via GitLab UI, and see, how the changes are automatically deployed into the servers. Here, I am changing the heading in the application, which should be visible in the application, after the automated deployment. Let's commit the changes. Let's see Jenkins, here the pipeline job has been triggered automatically via a webhook, as the administrator user. The pipeline is getting completed. Now the changes should be updated. Let us refresh the web page. This is the complete workflow.net application deployment, 
on the on-prem Kubernetes with Istio service mesh. For more information, please browse www.zippyapps.com. Please follow us on social media, links are available in the description. Like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to our channel, for the latest happenings on DevOps. Thank you for watching this video.